Condors team president, Matthew Riley. Staff always leads in the applause, right. <laughs> smartly so. Uh, thanks for coming. Um, yeah, yesterday was a big day in our organization, and, and today's a bigger day. Yesterday, I was in uh, Philadelphia uh, with uh, Mr. LaForge. We were at the ECHL Board of Governors meetings. Uh, the, the announcement we're about to make was unanimously approved. Uh, by our board, by the league board. Last night, it's my understanding, uh, there was a, a city council meeting where a lease transfer was unanimously approved. Uh, we were on a plane, we got here about uh, midnight last night, and, and here we are today. So I guess uh, yesterday the official stuff uh, happened, or the, maybe the, the technicalities happened, and today uh, we get to celebrate it uh, with our, our fans. Uh, is really what it's all about and, and, and how we've gotten to this day. Uh, uh, 17 years ago or thereabouts, Jonathan Fleissig purchased this organization. It was in the West Coast Hockey League. Uh, we played as the fog at that time in the convention center on the stage of a theater. Uh, for those of you that uh, were here and remember that, and for those of you that don't, it's a, it's a tough picture to, to draw. but. Uh, it happened. It, it took place, um, and we, we got to this point now. So, uh, Jonathan, uh, owe, owe him a huge uh, debt of gratitude. Uh, personally, he's provided for myself and my family, uh, and really anybody that is involved with the Condors or, or cares about the Condors uh, owes him. Uh, really, should be forever indebted to him. To, to getting us started, seeing us through, and getting us to this point. Um, in addition, um, uh, lot, lots of people involved uh, with, with getting us to this point. Alan Tandy, the, the community leaders that had the vision to build an arena like this and recognize what an impact that would have on a, on a community and what an impact having a successful sports organization uh, could do for a city um, and you know that was the beginning and now lately uh, dealing with a NHL organization and, and recognizing what that could do uh, and, and, and will do for, for a community. Uh, I mentioned the fans before, uh, our fans are, are awesome, uh, again watched uh, some of the fans were here long enough where they watched uh, the team play through chicken wire and, and on, on, on a stage next door and, and uh, have, have stuck with us through uh, thick and thin. have probably perfected that uh, uh, phrase of sticking us through, uh, with us through thick and thin. So, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun in these 15 plus years. We've impacted a lot of people's lives through our, the entertainment that we've provided through our charity endeavors. Uh, it's been great. Uh, now we've got the backing and support and resources of one of the most dynamic organizations in the National Hockey League. So it's pretty exciting to be able to combine uh, those two forces, if you will. Um, not only is this a major announcement for the Condors, it's also a major announcement for our league, the ECHL. Um, we will be the only team at the AA level 100% owned by a National Hockey League team. I think that will uh, open other uh, teams' eyes in the NHL that, that maybe this is a, a route that, that they would be interested in going and, and that can just strengthen the, the, the partners we have in our league, which uh, just, just grows hockey and, and, uh, and that's good for everyone. Uh, you know, dealing with uh, Edmonton, it's been fantastic, um, uh, you know, through the entire process. This process started in June, roughly, uh, where, where uh, and uh, there were some <laughs> times along the way where we weren't sure it was going to happen, and, uh, and doubts and whatever. But you know, through a, a seven-plus month process, we got to this point, and it, it's been very pleasurable dealing with Edmonton. 
uh, and everyone in their organization, including their attorneys and accountants. And if, if that can be pleasurable, then, then just think once we get through all that, how much fun we're going to have together. So uh, at this time, I want to introduce uh, the president and CEO of Edmonton Oilers, who I already consider a friend, uh, Patrick LaForge. Ah, good morning, everybody. So uh, I think Matt covered the bases. A lot of uh, a lot of good news to be shared. A lot of excitement in our organization and uh, in our fans, in our fan group. And uh, so, uh, congratulations to everybody that worked on it. Matt uh, at the ECHL board said this uh, moment is a reward for 17 years of hard work, and that everybody associated with the effort. Uh, yeah, I thought it was rather astute. Everybody associated with the effort, mainly the fans and the customers and sponsors, but of course the, uh, the community in a, and in and of itself, the city has been a terrific landlord. Everybody should take a piece of pride in you know, being part of this. So this is good. Uh, there's a lot of sport organizations that have the reverse uh, activity happen. They don't they get press conferences this large, but it's not about this good news. Uh, this organization and the city of Bakersfield, which I think is really appropriate, is now entering into you know an elite hockey development uh, uh, cyclone, and uh, so that our two million fans uh, who are on our website and talk and engage with us every day four or five hundred thousand times a day through our multimedia. We're one of the largest media companies in Canada. We'll now know and hear about Bakersfield. Uh, just yesterday, some people here were in Oklahoma City filming our players there, talking to coaches, where they live, what the community's all about, where you shop, where's the coffee, those kinds of things. Bakersfield will get the same amount of inspection and flip and turn and uh, media exposure to a huge audience going forward. And that's great for business. That's great for everybody's business. And uh, for the players, uh, I, I'll just go back. Why So why does Daryl Cates want to do this? Daryl Cates wants to win the Stanley Cups. And he's going to compete against the New York Rangers, the Chicago Blackhawks, the LA Kings to do that. And to be successful, he knows he needs a vertically integrated organization so that the best players, the best coaches, equipment managers, trainers, sponsorship salespeople, hamburger cookers, uh, beverage preparers, administrators, in professional hockey can be part of an organization that continues to funnel elite athletes to the top. And that, that, that's, really, that's really it. And everybody that's part of it, uh, I don't know how many people uh, out of Oklahoma City who are now in Edmonton working for the Oilers organization. Uh, I can't count them all. And so everybody in the organization, not that everybody wants to leave, there's a role for people, good people right here under Matt Riley's leadership. But, uh, you know, the secret on what's been going on in Bakersfield is now exposed to the world. And it's all good news. So we're proud to be uh, to welcome the Condors and and, uh, and John Oliver and Matt Riley and and, uh, and the gang, uh, Coach Mann, and the players, and uh, to the organization. I think you've watched uh, our goalie, LB. Uh, LB is you know LB is what LB is. He's he's just a thoroughbred, and we've known him since he was 15, and we traded a real big asset to get him. We sent him here because this was the right place for him to come, get great ice time, really good coaching, lots of opportunity to see rubber, and uh, be ready to, to challenge at the next level. And there's no straight line, there's no silver bullet for LB. He looks like he's a great ECHL player. He has to commit himself and dedicate his life of being an athlete for the rest of his life to be a success that he potentially could be. And uh, being a good ECHL player does not get you to the NHL, but it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. And so Troy Mann and the gang here need to work with those kinds of guys, help us develop them at the right level. So I think, I think that's the secret.
for everybody else, uh, the sales team and so on, yeah, we'll be able to advise and help, but we're not tampering with a good thing. Uh, we're not reaching over Matt's shoulder to change the salt shakers on the table. Matt's doing a great job. He's a great leader. And our job is to support him in higher levels of success. And uh, we'll do that and provide him with the tools, I think, that can, you know, and uh, make him a little bit better. But uh, we're really pleased and, and complimentary of him. And for the city of Bakersfield, hey, we've been had an affiliation with Stockton for years, not to knock Stockton, but I enjoy beating them now. Uh, uh, more than, you know, <laughs> the owner there is an Oilers season ticket holder, or he was, and uh, it, uh, we had a real good look at ECHL, we had a real good look at Bakersfield over the years, and we chose Bakersfield, we really like Bakersfield. It's the right community, it's, it's a place where we can drop players, and they can be proud to live here, and uh, it's got the right athletic environment for them to succeed, and it's ideally located, so. Uh, it just met all of our perspectives, and we like the city a lot. Uh, Alan Tandy's been helpful and uh, in, in guiding the ship here, and uh, going to be a good landlord. Now the police is approved, and uh, so away we go. I think it's a good adventure. It's off to the right start, and uh, take questions out for this, I guess. Before <laughs> Everly's not coming to fix it. <laughs> Hey, Troy. <laughs> yeah. Hold the fronts out there. Perfect.